Inkproducts.com has now released its newest cleaning kit for the HP Office Jet 6600, 6700, and then you got the 7610 and the 7612. Now all four of them take exactly the same printhead. But I'm going to show you how to clean it without removing the printhead. Now you can't remove the printhead on those four models. So I'm going to show you how to take the cover with the release of four screws and you're going to be able to lift that whole top up and then we're going to show you how to clean it. Now it's a very simple, we we'll use blue lightning. Now just because it's blue, it's not Windex. When working with any type of cleaning chemical, I recommend you wear a pair of rubber gloves and wear some eye protection because you never know. Just like when you're painting at home. You don't want to go in there and start painting if you're not protecting your eyes. Okay, now you're going to open the printer up, have the cartridges come over, then you're going to unplug it. There's going to have a, one screw here and one screw there. Around the back, there's also two screws that you're going to take out. You're going to need small flat blade screwdriver. You're going to need a number 10 screwdriver, a hex type screwdriver. It's got to be T10 is what it's called. Now it's going to go up. You'll be able to get in there and take out those two screws up front and the two screws around the back. Okay, now that's the two, one screw here and another one over here. So you had two on the front and two on the back. Once you take them out, then I'll show you how to lift up the complete top. Okay, now I've got all the screws out. Now, I'm lifting up this top like this, but I want to be able to lift up the whole thing. So you might need that little screwdriver to get in there between the frame and that and lift it like that. See? But now I'm going to put a piece of tape on there so I'll be able to hold both tops up. Okay, now you see I'm lifting it. I taped it so I can keep them together. They don't separate when I lift them up. Then I can lift them up. You may want to put something to hold it up while you're working on it. There's the printhead. Now the printhead when you do this is going to be over here in the center. That's why you want to bring it over and then unplug it. Now normally you don't have to take anything off here at all. But for the purpose of the video, <clears throat> I'm going to take out these two screws and these two springs right here. Just going to lift them off. So you can see what's happening when we're doing and we're using the cleaner. And that little uh, purge tip on the end of that syringe fits exactly over the nozzles, printhead nozzles. You see the little bit of play you got here. I want you to get a roll of paper towels because we're going to make a little bath right here using the cleaner. That's what's going to clean the underside of that printhead so you don't have to take it out. So like I said I'm going to take this screw out, this screw out and this. Okay now I took this cover off. Now you don't have to take the cover off. I'm just doing this so you can see how we're cleaning this. You don't have to take that off. And I had to loosen those two springs, one on each side. The only time you'd have to take that off if you're going to replace the contact board for the chips. That's a good time to take a look at what the springs look like. If they're bent up and they're not, then don't even waste your time cleaning the printhead. Now we do sell that part, but um, I wouldn't waste my time cleaning at that point because it's not going to help anything because it's going to keep saying cartridge missing or damaged. Now I have a printhead I took apart just to show you. The cartridge plugs in right here and this is the supply nozzle for the ink. So we're basically what we're going to be doing, we're going to fill the syringe with the cleaner and go right over the top slide it right on and then slowly push so the cleaner will go through the printhead 
and flush it out. Now you see this is a little plastic that they put on that printhead. If I push too hard with the chemical, really push too hard, I can cause that to um, break and then the printhead's no good. So you don't want to never over push. And the other thing is a syringe we might say discard after use. Don't wash it out and don't discard it. These are veterinarian syringes and that's on there and you're not drawing any blood so you don't have to worry. Okay now I'm going to go take the cap off go in and pull up some cleaner. Now the syringe will fit right in the top of that bottle just go slow pull it up. Now I pulled up a full syringe but I'm going to use some of it when I fold that paper towel. The paper towel with the chemical is going to clean the bottom of the printhead. Get a piece of paper towel and then we're going to fold it up and we're going to lay it right in there and then pull the printhead over it. And I folded it up quite a few times because I want to lay it right down in there like that. And then I can, in the center here, wet that paper towel with the blue lightning. And then I'll slide the print hood over the top. So I have to get it in there. That's why I pulled up a little extra so I could put it down on there. Get it really heavy. Now I'll be able to slide the print head over. Once I get it under that print head, I'll slide it over. Keep doing it until it comes right on over that spot. There you go, it's coming out that side. I'll continue. I can pick it up and just slide it over. I'll make sure it sets right there. Now, now I'm going to insert the tip with some cleaner into the print head. Now you can clean them all or just the one that's giving you the problem like not printing or clogged. But what you want to do is slide it right over that little tip that sticks out. You're going to slide it right on there. I'm going to show you over here with the one I took out. Now there, that's what it's going to be like when you get in and push it in all the way and just carefully and gently add some of the cleaner. Then you're going to wait a minute. And then we're going to pull back, then push in. Now this could take up to 15 minutes to do it correctly, maybe a little bit longer. So let me go back over here to the print head. And I'm going to get it right on there and slide it in. So I slid it right in. Now I'm going to push. Now if it goes in easy, that means that that print head is fairly clean and it's not clogged. If I push in. push in. Now if it was resisting, I'd push a little bit and wait. Then what I can do is I can pull back just a little bit. That's going to draw out all the stuff that's clogged in there. And then I can push back in there again. That's the way you're going to do all of them, exactly the same way. Then you can take it out and you can go over to the next one. Slide it on there, push in, pull back. Okay, now I'm pushing it in. It's giving me a little resistance now, you see, when I let go. But remember, if I push too hard, I could damage the, the seals in the top of that printhead. So that's why I'm going to take my time here. And I can bring this printhead back and forth. That'll help clear up any of the clogged up uh, bottom part of that printhead. Just take your time. I didn't have to take the print head out. I don't really re recommend you taking it out because sometimes if you don't get it back right, it doesn't work. But remember, the reason why you're doing this, it didn't work to begin with. So you're not, you don't have anything to lose. Now I'm going to get over here for a second. I want to point this out. See that little, I call it a decoding strip, it goes back and forth. It's like a piece of photographic film. Don't touch it, don't rub it, don't get anything on it. Because if you do, the printer will not operate properly. Don't touch it. You just go back and forth. You see something on it, 
If you want to wipe it, you can use something like a, a, a dry cotton ball or something like that. No liquid. Like I said, that's photographic film there. So you don't want to damage it. And there's the springs. Mine are all good here in this one. But if they were bad, you can replace them. Just have to take more of the printhead apart. You know, you then, then you have to take the cables off, take the springs, and then the printhead will come out, and you can replace that. Let me point this out, though. Only if those springs are damaged should you do that. If not, leave the printhead right in the printer. No you need to take it out. And I can push this over a little bit. I can add a little bit more of the blue lightning there, bring it back. And then when you're done, close everything up. Get yourself a set of filled or brand new HP cartridges and put them in. That is the only way you can prime up the printhead. There's no other way. If you don't do that, it's not going to work. You're going to get ink system failure. And now see that's going right in. Right in. And I can change out that paper towel from time to time to make sure that you can see what's if, if all the ink colors are coming out. So like I said, I took that off so you could see better in the video. You don't need to take that off. Now I'm going to show you a 7610 and a 7620. Again, it's the same printhead, but you don't have to take the printhead out to clean it. Now on the 8600 series, the printers that take the 950, 951, printhead comes right out in your hand. That's what I like about it. I can put it right on the bench here. I can clean it. With these models, it has to stay in. Now this is a 7110. You have to take this plate off here, but you can still just go right in the front to clean the printhead. You don't have to take the printhead out. You'd lay up the paper towel in there and do exactly like I do in the beginning of this video. Now this is the Office Jet 7610. I'm going to lift it up and I can show you. It's a lot easier to clean the printhead on this printer. Wide open. You can drop this front panel, print it will come over, you can clean it. Very simple on this printer. Just like the beginning of the video, that's how you clean it. Now this is the Pro 8600 series, 8610, 20 and 30, they're all the same. There's the print head, there's a little lever, you lift it up, the print head comes out. A lot easier to clean. A lot easier to clean because it'll be out on the, the bench and you'll be able to do it right there. But remember, anytime you do a cleaning, you have to set, have a good set of HP cartridges to reprime up those uh, printhead cavities. If not, you'll get ink system failure. Okay, now I took the top off and I took the springs. Now I just wanted to show you what the bottom looked like. That's why I'm doing that. So as you can tell if it's getting real clean and it's starting... The inks are starting to flow through it. There's the uh, back cavities. Now, you'd only take this apart is if you're going to replace those springs because they're damaged. But you notice I didn't unplug anything. Normally, you wouldn't even have to take any of this apart. If you notice your springs are good, leave it alone. So go to inkproducts.com. For our new blue lightning, it's a simple and easy kit to clean the printhead, and it works.